Good morning, Somerville. I'm Kristen Whitty. And I'm Jelani Moore. Today is Friday, January 19th, and Wave TV starts now. Pretty soon, underclassmen will be choosing their classes for the next school year. Dalton Liggins gives you all the reasons on why you should consider choosing Wave TV. Afterwards, Ryan Windham introduces us to next year's block schedule. Are you looking for a way to get involved and have an interest in either cinema or broadcast? Great, but here are some even better reasons to join Wave TV. You get to go places, meet whoever you'll approach. You have the chance to explore your own community. You'll be surprised by what you don't know. You'll have the opportunity to create and to educate. You'll have a voice in school news. You get to decide what your peers see. Are you up for it? Applications are outside the Way TV studio, room 232. Next school year, Dorchester District 2 will be putting in place a full block schedule. The system will replace the normal classes with block classes and reduce the amount of classes a day to four. We talked with Principal Farrell for more information. Well, it's, uh, it's not just the block schedule. It's, it's uh, what works best for today's students. Um, it gives them, actually gives them four extra opportunities during their four-year career here. Um, it lets them focus on four classes at a time rather than seven classes at a time. So it, for us, they're more positive than negative. We're going to keep schedules as long as they're good for kids. You know, there's something that better comes down the line and it's better for our kids, then we're going to change. I mean, that's, that, that's what we need to do every year is we reflect on what we're doing, how we're doing it, and how we can do it better. Now we have a couple of students to share their opinions about the block schedule next year. I disliked how much information there was and like how much there you barely had any time to actually go over. It's like you're on one unit one day and then you're on a completely different unit the next day. And it's way too fast to keep up with. I wouldn't like it at all because it was, it's way too much. Even though you're going to have four classes, it's still going to be a lot to take in and try to keep up with it. The block, I've had a block schedule before. And I kind of liked it, but there were some flaws about it, like how the whole lunch period just falls in between classes. There was more time for the classes, and it wasn't just like a shorter period where you could get minimal instruction time. This new schedule will take some time to adjust to. Good luck, some of you reporting for Wade TV. I'm Ryan Windham. Over our extended winter break, Somerville experienced the first snowfall in seven years. We received about seven inches of snowfall that stayed on roofs and cluttered roads, which led to multiple canceled school days. However, these seven inches of snowfall are not close to the record for Somerville of 15 inches, which happened February 10, 1973. Locals frolicked in the mounds of powder, making snowmen and having many snowball fights. For many of the area's younger residents, this is their first time seeing snow. However, they might not have to wait long for their next experience with snowfall on the horizon in early February. Hopefully, South Carolina residents will be better prepared for the weather. For Wave TV, I'm William Sutton. Thank you, Jordan and Will, for that small flashback. Most people focus on bettering themselves when the new year starts and trying to make things as easy for them as possible. Allison Pageant speaks out about bullying and its negative effects, and Jay Goodrich teaches us about self-improvement. Bullying has been a major issue for many years and has even made its way into social media. We talked to a few students at Somerville to get their input. Yes, I have dealt with bullying before. Um, I've been bullied myself, and I've, I've stood up for myself, and I've stood up for others. When I was bullied in middle school, um, I didn't, I took it out like really bad and everything and I just, I couldn't handle myself. Social media plays a tremendous role in bullying. Now you can't escape people like you did, like you could. You can't just leave school and not see them again. Now you have to see them on a constant basis. Every post you make on social media, like you can be like direct about that person and then that shows signs of bullying. I think anybody who stands by for bullying is, is, is just as complicit honestly, as the, as the person who's bullying. 
I, I want to get involved to like to speak up against Boeing, but I might be afraid that I'm also I'm going to be next on on the menu. Sometimes, if you push somebody to a certain limit, it can cause them to commit suicide. More harmful comments can lead you to suicide. Like uh, I had a friend who committed suicide by this. Because people can bully without repercussions, they can be behind a screen and not even realize what they're doing. So we end this narrative that everybody is a victim. Stay safe, Somerville. For Wave TV, I'm Allison Paget. As we kick off 2018, you're going to want to become the best version of you that you can possibly be. There's little changes you can make all around you to become your best self. Eating better and drinking more water. Throwing a little bit of fruits and vegetables into your daily eating habits and drinking some more water can make a huge difference. Smile more. Putting a smile on your face can help you improve your day and have a better lifestyle. Getting a good night's sleep can help you be more successful and productive throughout the day. Make time for yourself. You should be the most important person to please in your life. Study. Just looking over your notes can help you be more successful in your academic career. Have more confidence. Believe in yourself. Make school your priority. Even though it's not the funnest option, it's going to help you be the most successful. Invest your money. Putting a little bit of cash away every so often can help you on a rainy day. Get a new hobby. Getting a new hobby can broaden your horizon. Make 2018 a year of improvement. For Wave TV, I'm Jade Goodrich. Thanks, Allison and Jade. Those self-improvement tips really come in handy this year. In school news, an animation club has just begun, and Pierce Collins gives us the insight. Here at Wave TV, we want to showcase a new club, the Animation Club. We first talked with the sponsor of the club, Ms. Hannigan, to tell us more. Right now, we're just in the process of getting a group of people together to make sure that we have enough people to really hold the club. Um, we're studying the different forms of animation, going all the way back to like original art. When I was asked to do the animation club, I don't know much about animation, so I said that I would be more than happy to sponsor it, so I'm kind of learning as I go. After that, we spoke with the president of the club, Hannah Poe. What is it about the club that makes it so great? Well, animation is a very unique art form. It requires a lot of concentration and a lot of um, communication skills. Someone should stand up in front of the classroom and direct people into um, a place where they would want to better themselves along with bettering the, uh, the rest of the team. Uh, we meet uh, every other Wednesday in room 206 and we would love to see everybody there. Thank you to both of you for all the great information you provide. Reporting from Wave TV, I'm Pierce Collins. Closing the show, Hannah Simmons and Jelani Moore take us back to Somerville in the 90s. With the new year of 2018 comes a look back on SHS's past. The early 90s was truly an amazing time. Back when mom jeans and rollerblading and freshmen of Bel Air were all the rage, talk about two 90s kids, times have definitely changed. That's why we talked to Mr. Rutherford and Mrs. Causey, who graduated in 1994. Mrs. Causey teaches at AR, and Mr. Rutherford is, of course, our very own athletic director. And there wasn't social media back then, so if you didn't go to school with someone, you know, you might see them on the weekends every now and then, but that was, that was kind of it. You know, we seriously take phones for granted. Google is the most popular form of finding answers, and Remind 101 literally lets teachers send us messages while we're at home. Back in the 90s, Sony Walkmans and VHS tapes took the cake. I took keyboarding class, but when you took keyboarding class when I was in school, we, were, we had electric typewriters. So we were not quite on computers yet. It was actually pretty rare to see a computer. The, the phone is, is, pretty, is pretty convenient for a lot of things. So it, I, might, I might have been in trouble as a young person with the phone, but it definitely would have, been, would have made some things easier, I think. We used to have to go to the card catalog and search things and then go and write the paper, and it took a lot, you know, whereas y'all Google it. You know, our school has such a large student body, and it would have been much bigger if Fort Dorchester and Astley Ridge were never built. Astley Ridge was built about 10 years ago in 2008, and the school rivalry was there from the start. We were the last um, full graduating class, 94 was the last full graduating class, because the next year that came up was Fort Dorchester. Astley Ridge, I mean, the minute they opened, it was rivalry, not just not just an athletic rivalry. You're comparing test scores, our students did better than y'all students, right. or SAT scores or you know with the quest competition academic stuff I and mean, it's it's a, it's a good friendly competition even though 90s fashion is coming back it was definitely well different mr. Rutherford remembers the trends like it was yesterday people were still tight rolling their jeans I remember that you take the take you you take your pants leg and you, yeah. you kind of <laughs> fold it over and then you would roll it up like that the challenges that young people have now in, in this school that we that we see you know ninth tenth eleventh or twelfth graders they're the same ones that, that I saw people that I went to school with when I was here, the same ones that I saw when I was a teacher here, the same ones I saw when I was assistant principal here. It's about helping helping kids get through those challenges and at the same time making sure they know everything they need to know to, to do the things that they want to do when they leave high school. 
You know, Somerville's really grown a lot, and it's good to know that education, sports, and arts are still the school's foundation. That's why it's cool to see what school was like, even if it was in the 90s. I hope you have another great year in 2018. For Wave TV, I'm Hannah Simmons. And I'm Jelani Moore. Have a great 2018, Somerville. Thanks for the flashback. No problem. That's all we have for today's show. For Wave TV, I'm Jelani Moore. And I'm Kristen Whitty. Have an awesome Friday, Somerville.